Putin's Russia is at war with Ukraine, and with that, Putin is challenging the entire democratic world. The current war is fought not only with guns, but also with disinformation. 18 months ago, we decided to combat disinformation. Today, Russia's actions are the reason for this report's existence. Democracy should never be taken for granted. It needs to be built, practiced, and defended. Those who wish to harm us compromise our democracy by interfering in our elections, co-opting our officials, spreading disinformation. Actors such as Russia and China choose these methods only because they do not feel to fear to be held accountable, because these methods have high profits and still very low cost. A firm and resolved response is overdue. We need to establish a comprehensive sanctions regime that will deter any foreign interference. For the sanctions to work properly, we need to close the loopholes and take the following actions. Firstly, coordination among the member states is paramount. United we stand, divided we fall. We need to strive for unity in the EU, and this requires strengthening our crucial institution. EU ESS Stratcom must become more independent and a much stronger voice in the EU. Disinformation is best fought by information. We have to provide, uh, provide Russian and Chinese courses and not the Confucius Institute or any kind of Ruski Mir. Independent fact-based journalism is the cornerstone of democracy and we need to protect our critical infrastructure. Digital platforms need to be put the credibility of content before the profits. The world where disinformation is not counted is dangerous and scary. A very sad example is Putin's Russia, where propaganda has reached dystopian levels. Where Putin tries to intimidate its population into believing that a democratic Ukraine, led by a president with Jewish roots, is run by a genocidal Nazi regime. Critical thinking is the best remedy against foreign interference on the continent of enlightenment. Critical thinking is already part of our EU's DNA. This needs to be further strengthened. All this while safeguarding our fundamental values of freedom, expression, assembly, and education. And I hope we stay on the right side of history. Thank you.